It's a pretty sweet backdrop. Whew, sure is. So, what's your favourite turtle show? God, there's so many good ones. Then I guess if I had to pick just one, it'd have to be Next Mutation. Oh, that Venus de Milo. That's a put me every time. That... <laughs> ...was the wrong answer. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And here we are, we're back, it's season three. And we're starting this one off by heading back to that reverse flash effect with an effect that was requested by a whole bunch of you. So I just picked one. Any chance you can do a video on how the reverse flash phases his hand through people? Give the people what they want, I say. And guess what? Just like with our last reverse flash effect, this one is way easy. I mean, it's a little harder, but it's still easy. In fact, we'll be using the reverse flash vibration effect we created in that last episode, down below, on the hand, so basically, we're already halfway done. We'll also be throwing in a little lightning, which you can pick up down in the description as well. So in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot two plates. One, with your reverse flash actor thrusting his hand into nothing, and the second one being an actor to be thrusted into and reacting to said thrust. Are we still talking about an effect or a porno? <laughs> Get used to that, people. It's gonna be one of those seasons. All right, guys, After Effects is up and ready to go. I've already got my clips set up in my comp with my reverse flash actors layer on top, and if I lower the opacity on this top layer, you can see they are both timed correctly with my victim reacting to the arm being thrust through his body. Check out a previous episode below that teaches you all about timing two separate clips to work together with each other. So as I just stated, our clips are ready to go, so our first step is to mask out our flash here so that his arm looks like it's phasing through our actor's body. So let's scrub to a point where the hand is looking nice and still. This looks pretty good. We'll then grab the pen tool and draw a detailed mask around the sides of the arm, right here, that interact with the actor's shirt. You can also lower and heighten the opacity if need be as well. We'll then do a rough job on the rest of the mask, essentially splitting this clip into two parts. Hit F and then feather it out anywhere from 5 to 10 pixels. From there, collapse the mask menu down and hit the stopwatch on mask path. Let's then go forward frame by frame, adjusting the mask around our sleeve as it moves. Now hopefully you'll have a steadier arm than me and you won't have to do this as much. A good tip to aid you while you're masking is to essentially turn the mask off. Change this setting from add to none. That way you can see exactly what you're masking out. When you get to the end of the clip, head back to that first frame of your mask path animation and then just work backwards, adjusting the mask until your hand is completely out of his chest. Let's check out a preview. Yep, looks awful, but it's only the first step. Okay, our hand is shunting through our victim. Now, let's blur it out. Our next step is where we differ a little bit from our last reverse flash episode. Instead of duplicating the footage and adding our blur to that, we're going to add the blur to an adjustment layer. So let's head up, grab an adjustment layer, scrub forward to that same point where we started masking the hand, about here, and then let's draw a mask around our arm, like so. Not too detailed, but close enough to the arm that it looks passable, and then just feather it out around 12 pixels. And just like with our last mask, let's collapse down the mask menu, hit the stopwatch on mask path, because we'll be animating this one as well. This time around, however, we don't have to go frame by frame as much. We just want to make sure that our arm is within that mask. So if you need to adjust the rotation or position, or if you move around some of the points, go for it. It can be as quick or as detailed as you like. Just like with the last one, when you reach the end, head back to that first animation point and then work backwards until it's out of the chest. Once your animation's done, let's head up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add a box blur. You know the deal here guys, set the amount anywhere from 10 to 25, the iterations to 10, and then we'll hit the ALT key and hit the stopwatch on iterations. We'll then type this expression, wiggle, space, bracket, 20, comma, 5, and then an end bracket. Click out of the expression and BAM! We now have our effect looking pretty good. Last step, a little lightning. No, not that one. Actual lightning. I've created a couple of little lightning sparks in a comp for you. All we have to do now is just add them to the comp, set the transfer mode to screen, and then move them into position. If you feel the need to animate the lightning, you can check out our flash running episode for a quick guide on how to animate that lightning. 
Our last little cherry on top is to select our lightning layer, head up to effect, generate and add a good old light rays. Scrub forward to the point of the lightning first appearing, place that light ray center in a spot that looks good and let's change a few settings. Change the intensity to 350 and the radius to 35. That's it. Now before we check out the final shot, I just want to point out that I used our previous reverse flash effect to make the hand vibrate before I hit. Which is why I really haven't explained how I did that because, well, I already have. Now, let's check out that final shot. Yep, it's a pretty sweet backdrop. Whew, sure is. So, what's your favourite turtle show? God, there's so many good ones. But I guess if I had to pick just one, it'd have to be Next Mutation. Oh, that Venus de Milo. That's a for me every time. That <laughs> was the wrong answer. So guys, that's the reverse flash killing hand or hand phase, whatever you want to call it. That's it. Like I said at the start, it's not that hard, but it is effective. Oh. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Season 3. We'll be back with another Flash Effect next week, as I've only got about 457,000 requests for them. You guys really like these Flash Effects, don't you? If the answer is yes, please like and share the video. If you're new here, phase through that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Be sure to check out all the content on the channel. And until we meet again, keep learning! <laughs>